man, it's always cool to just kind of go out there and, and do something completely different and uh, see what you can learn. What's up, guys? We're back with Hunter and his build of the BD5 Microjet. What's going on, hey guys? Man? Oh, I'm just keep working on this BD5 here. Cool. Um, well, tell us what you've done so far. So, since last time, I've uh, dimple dyed all the holes and stuff that I had. Okay, so now here, why so do you do that? What's that makes, mean? Makes this nice flush rivet. Yeah, yeah. So night so comes out nice flush and smooth. Mounted rivets, old Correct. school ones here. Those are already done. Yep. And so, for instance, like here, you've actually had to strike that with little metal dies to be dimpled. Correct. How long did that take you? A good fair bit of the day. Yeah. When I had I had this whole side and that whole side to do and. It sounds like nice. all the brackets and stuff on the inside as well. So, so this, it all matches nice This well. vertical stabilizer here looks neat. That's new. Yep, yep. I had to work on getting all the brackets and stuff ready for it. And mounted up, all these holes lined up through the skin. I think we ought to mention to people right now that this airplane's destined to be a static display, actually. Yes. We're going to be doing the airframe, doing it really nice so he can learn all the techniques and processes. But frankly, the engine and the avionics and all will cost would be, so much. Yeah, it would be cost prohibitive. You might as well go out and buy an L29 or L39 Czechoslovakian light fighter. So yep. just wanted to say that. Um, anyway, carry on. Okay, so I've done that. And then after that, the uh, horizontal stabilizer is the next thing to be. To yeah, be move that rudder. On. Let's see that thing move. So this, this is what we call your elevator action here. So the entire wing surface mounts to this, right? Correct. And this is this is how much it moves. It probably doesn't even have much deflection when it's flying. Not not much no. deflection, if, especially because the whole thing's like 40, okay. 40 inches 40 out inches on either long. side. Is it is it 20 inches on each side or 40 the whole? 40 way? each side. So it's okay. So it's it's, a, it's a large. So it doesn't need a whole lot of deflection okay. to give you all the action you need. All right, so that's your big heavy boss that mounts that there. Yep, okay. so that's, that's where I'm at right now. Did you right. find uh, it a little tricky getting this skin to match yeah, up I particularly and all bit, that? Yeah, I did have a little bit of a trick. You know, it's 50, almost 50 year old parts that were stamped out. And yeah. Their stamping may not have been the best at the time. You're so. kind of doing old school jet building. This is like takes, 1940s to 1970s kind takes, of stuff here. Takes a bit of work. Definitely felt like Rosie the Riveter on the other side there. Getting Let's see that there. rudder work. Show us that. Okay, neat. Okay, so we got this up here. This is actually a counterweight too, isn't it? Correct. Stable on it? That's neat. Yep. So it's fiberglass with the weight up inside yep, the of there. Yeah, weight's up in there. Yeah. Oh, it's just catching on that sheet metal there. Yep. Okay, so what do you find, what was most interesting to you about this build so far what, with what you've done? I think it has to do just more with how flimsy it, it feels like when you're working with stuff. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you get it on the aircraft and start either pleco or riveted in, it gets really, really structurally strong. Interesting. And then you can just completely push down when that was just a thin Oh, absolutely. Of absolutely. So, would you say the biggest lesson you're learning right now is just the nature of how strong you can make something that's lightweight if mm -hmm. you know how? If you know how to, the, the techniques to, to get cool. it done. So, a great learning lesson for engineering the future and all that. Correct. Neat. So, what's your next step? Where are you going to be going? So, I'm currently working on the spars for these guys. Okay. And then I, I have some. And the, of the spars th are the inside strong rib. Yeah? Correct. Okay. That supports the carry, carry the load really. Gotcha. So then I have a bunch of internal bracketry and stuff that'll go to that and then I'll skin it. Neat. Neat. And then those will go, those will go on. Why don't you walk us through the center section, look inside the fuselage here. So, so this is inside. This here. is inside. This is where your powertrain would sit. Yeah. If we, if we were actually to put it in there. Um, obviously not finished. Obviously not finished. Now this big guy here, this big spar, this is the main that would support the front, the Correct. main wings, right? Correct. And, and, that's why, and that's why the landing gear is hooked to it. Yeah. It supports the majority of the weight. So that's oh, kind of your, your heart of the structure, yeah? Yep. Okay. Right, so, so yeah, it's... Most of this stuff was done before I, I got to it, so... Mm. So this hole up here is where the jack shaft would go through if it was propeller, yeah? Correct. Now, do you know if there was a jet in here, would that hole be made larger? I'm not entirely sure. I actually believe that there might be some a uh, jet version might have slightly different ducting and stuff to get. It does. It has big knack yeah, ducts on the front. Yeah, yeah. So I think it might have been larger and, and then something to actually right. get the exhaust out and not burn the So with it going to become a static display, how are you going to finish it off? What are you going to paint it like? What do you think? Um, I mean, I'd really like to do the, the Bell X1. What was that plane? The first uh, plane that Chuck Yeager flew past the sound barrier. Neat. And what did it look like? It was all, all orange. Cool. Uh, yeah. That could be fun. You got any other ideas that would look cool? Um, we thought, I mean, obviously just doing the thing whole polished up would look really good. 
Oh yeah, um, that's true. That's true. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work. Even if you wet sanded uh, it real nice, that wouldn't be too hard. I think I think it could come out looking good. That could be cool. Then you have to paint the fiberglass wing fillets yeah, you'd and have such. To, yeah, all, all that kind of stuff would mm -hmm. have to go. Okay. So yeah. So let's see the cockpit area here. So same kind of. Oh, you took a lot of that out. I took a lot of that stuff out just to, okay. so I could actually get in here and clean. See what you got. Yep. See what. Now I got. the center section is where the wheel would go up inside. Correct. And right then, in, right up in between your feet. You can see mounted up in there the. Uh, the brake master cylinders. Brake master yeah. cylinder. All the pitot tube stuff is already oh, up yeah, there. Oh yeah, that's true. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, do you have anything you learned or new inspirational stuff you want to tell anybody about building their own airplane or taking on their own engineering projects? I Man, it's always cool to just kind of go out there and, and do something completely different and uh, see what you can learn. I've learned all sorts of just little little details. Nothing necessarily huge, but me. Yeah. Well, right on, man. Well, we'll look forward to connect with you soon. So your next big step is finishing the empennage with your horizontal stabilizer, right? Yep. Then where do you go from there? From there, I think we'll be going to uh, finishing up this cockpit. Mm -hmm. So all, all the internal. All do the you internal need to stuff. do your control that'll uh, come, that'll lines? Come, that'll come along with the doing the internals. I see. So you wait to put the skin on finally until after you've done the controls in the cockpit. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's neat. And then so. All right. Well, I guess we'll catch the next video then. That huh? sounds good. All right, guys. Well, we hope you like this. Also, please like, comment, subscribe, share your support with Hunter. We'll see you next time. See you later, guys.